Hello everyone. Welcome to Biotechnica YouTube channel. Today I have come out with a very interesting topic. Is CSIR net exam tough? Well, if we have a path which has never been walked on, then we'll always encounter challenges. We don't know ultimately what it needs to because we never know what it will lead to. So when we come to these words, what is easy and what is tough? Well, it depends on two kinds of students. As we all know that all individuals are different. We are totally different starting from the molecular and genetic level to the level of understanding and comprehending things. The two kinds of students are the ones who are prepared. They know what to do. They have proper guidance and they have been dedicated and regular. Another set of students is the ones who are unprepared. They don't know what to do. They will haphazardly study. They don't have a plan. They don't have a proper strategy. So you can very well guess for those kind of students, the prepared students, it's going to be very easy. For the unprepared students, the CSR exam is going to be very tough. So coming to the conclusion, which I'll be giving you at the end, but as of now, the answer is both yes and no. Well, I have a mathematical proof to show you. Yes, for the students who believe they can, and no for the students who just keep looking for answers to such questions, rather than taking up the pen and paper and diving into the journey. Well, it's not going to be a cakewalk. It's not going to be a walk in the path. So question is, what is this exam? What is this CSIR exam? Well, it is a conceptual brainstorming to judge your fitness for being a proper and better researcher. So when we are able to understand the concepts much better and we are able to use those concepts in solving the questions during the exam, that is when we will consider is at a, it as a proper preparation. Next question, what is required for cl clearing this particular exam? Well, you need two things. First thing is proper strategy. How many units you are going to prepare? How you are going along with your timetable? What all subunits you are going to prepare? Second thing is proper resources. From where you are going to prepare? Are those resources genuine? Are those resources authentic? Have they given foolproof results all the time and all along the way? Well, that is for you to decide. So it is definitely likely you can crack the CSR net exam in the first time provided you start preparing early. Yes, whatever, whenever is the date of the exam, at least six months of study is must for such kind of preparation. Then only minimum of six months with discipline studies, you will be able to get success in the exam. Now, I'm going to show you how you can clear this exam with a mathematical perspective. Let's dig deeper into the CSIR net cutoff analysis. How much is the cutoff for clearing this exam? Well, if you have noticed that you would see the maximum cutoff that goes is still 60% or you can say 120 out of total 200 marks. And if you look at the toppers, then they go up to some 70 to 80%. That means if you want to clear this exam, you are looking to score somewhere between 60 to 80%. For that, you need a strategic plan. Next topic in question is, let's look at the paper structure. That is CSIR net exam paper structure. Well, here you have three sections. One is part A, which consists of logical reasoning, general aptitude, and also some mathematical types of questions. Next section is part B, 
which consists of subjective questions from the CSIR net prescribed syllabus and another one is part C. This is the most dangerous section and a very important one where you will get lot of marks. There is an opportunity to fetch lot of marks and it, it can also help you get the higher rank. And this section contains question that will test your analysis and research skills. Let's look at how many questions you get per section. In part A, total questions you get is 20. In part A, total questions you get is 50. And in part C, total questions are 75. But what is the best part of CSIR net? Options. You get lot of options in the question paper. So out of 20, you don't have to attend all of them. You just have to attend 15 questions. Out of 50, you only have to attempt 35 questions. And out of 70, you only have to attempt 25 questions. Now let me show you a way how you can attend a specific set of questions so that you can clear this exam. I will keep this for your record so that you understand how the division is going to be. Now what is our, uh, what is our target that we need to score? We need to score that 120 marks. Just for little bit of consideration, I will consider around 130 marks, okay, which will be 65% that will at least guarantee you nothing but JRF. If not the rank and the topper, but at least you will get the JRF. Now for that, out of 15 questions, as I mentioned, you have to solve total 15 questions in part A. No need to solve 15 questions. You can just solve 7 questions. So what I did not mention is how much is the marks for these questions. So for part A per question, you will be awarded two marks for each right answer. For part B also, you will be awarded two marks for each right answer. For part C, you will be awarded four marks for each right answer. Now, if you are attending seven questions in part A correctly, then seven into two, 15 marks is set for you at least 14, 15 marks, some here and there, eight questions will be there. Now under part B, I'm not asking you to solve 35 questions, just solve some 23 questions. These also has two marks each. So 23 into two, you will be getting 46 marks. And from part C, already you have lot of choice. You have 75 questions out of which you have to attend only 25 questions. Out of that also, I am not asking you to solve all the questions, just get 20 questions correctly. So 20 into 4 is 80 marks. If you add all of them up, the total marks that you get is 140 marks. Now I will give you the opportunity of making some mistakes obviously. So if I subtract some 10 marks, that is going in negative marking. For part A and part B, you have 0.5 marks deducted for negative marking. Okay, so for every wrong answer, 0.5 will be deducted. Here also 0.5 and for part C, one mark will be deducted. That is why I have given you to solve only 20 questions. You should not make more mistakes in part C because each correct answer is worth four marks. The more you answer till the limit of 25, it will be much better for you. So as you can see, with this, you can easily score 130 marks, which is 65% of the target. So definitely with 60%, you can qualify GRF, but still with 130 marks, you are good to go. So what did we learn? Is CSR exam tough or not? To sum it up, yes, it can be tough as the questions are not so simple. This is the preparation for a research program. So you will be tested for your research abilities. Now what you have to concentrate on while the preparation, while doing the preparation, you will have to concentrate on the concept instead of learning step by step, word by word and drawing and redrawing to memorize the structure. You have to know what is the concept behind a particular process. What are the steps? What are the gene names? Second things, you have to constantly revise. Whatever you are learning, you have to constantly revise. There is no point in learning and learning and not recollecting at the end. 
third thing what you need to do is practice if you do all these three together then no one can stop you from getting success yes you will be a star student and definitely you will get success so again i would like to uh, emphasize on three qualities which you should possess you must be focused not getting deviated from what you want to do you should be dedicated totally towards the preparation not switching what you want to do and third thing is as i mentioned you should revise all the time so summary is if you aim for the moon then definitely you will be somewhere in between the stars with that thought all the best everyone thank you